guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Robin and if you're returning thank you for watching this video so today's video is a healthy lifestyle habits video these are healthy lifestyle habits that have changed my life for the better since I started my fitness journey which was October 2017 but before we get into all of this I just want to say I'm sorry if you can hear any of the noise in the background I do have construction going on out front of my house been like this for a few months it's gonna be like this for a majority more of my videos so just in advance an apology for that so I wrote out on a piece of paper everything that I wanted to talk about in today's video the first tip is to eat at home the majority of the time I feel like ever since I started to eat at home majority of the time I really did notice a difference in my body a difference in my mood and my energy levels and just the way that I felt um, just cooking my own meals, knowing exactly what's going into it, knowing it's healthy, whole foods, um, and that they're good for me. And honestly, I try to save eating out for the weekends because I feel like the weekends are a time where you want to hang out with friends, family. So I kind of do the 80-20 rule and just save that 20% for Fridays and Saturdays. And then Sundays through Thursdays, I try to just be very strict with my diets and, um, healthy as much as possible obviously like things happen and you might end up you know eating unhealthy or going out for dinner or lunch or whatever it is during the week and that's okay but I'm just saying that majority of the time I try to eat at home because honestly it just benefits me and it's a lot cheaper so the second tip is to eat healthy whole foods so before I struggled with this I didn't even really realize it and I feel like a lot of us don't but it's so easy to just buy processed foods and just foods even that are advertised as healthy but are not healthy and you realize that they're not healthy so when you're shopping in the grocery store um, what my trick is to shop the perimeter of the store because if you notice the perimeter of the store like you have your produce on one side and then you go around and you've got like your meats and your fish and then eggs dairy um, like the perimeter of the grocery store is usually the healthiest and then in the center of the grocery store is normally like all of the aisles is normally where they keep the more processed things obviously there are some stuff that I get in the aisles like pasta nachos things like that but um, trying to stay away from more of those processed foods that are not healthy and just focusing on eating healthy whole foods as much as I can. The third tip that I have might sound a little bit cliche because everybody says this, but um, it's drinking more water. Drinking lots and lots of water. Our body needs water, it needs to be hydrated, It water is essential to life and if you're not drinking enough water, you will feel that. I feel so much better on the days that I can finish like two, three bottles. This right here is my water bottle. I do put a straw in it because I don't like to drink through this, but this is my water bottle and I aim to drink three of these. Sorry, my dog is like scratching right now. <laughs> I aim to drink three of these a day and honestly, the days that I only get through one, I do feel it and just drink more water. It's better for you. It'll make you feel better. It'll make you have more energy and Honestly, water is also very good for weight loss, so keeping that in mind if that is one of your goals. The fourth thing that I have is to create a strong morning routine. When I created a strong morning routine, a strong foundation to begin my day, I honestly noticed that my days are a lot more productive and I just feel more productive and more motivated after my morning routine. So I think that having a strong grounded morning routine is very good because it's very good for how, like how you start off your day is going to kind of but how you start off your day is the energy that you're going to have going throughout the rest of your day so if you have a very rushed morning and you're not in a good mood whatever that is how the rest of your day is going to go but if you have a very strong morning routine and even if you work a nine to five job whatever and you wake up earlier so that you have enough time to do that whole morning routine it's going to set the tone for the rest of your day and you're gonna feel that so that is the 
I really recommend that so, so much because when I started to have a strong, firm morning routine, I noticed a really huge difference in my productivity levels and in my motivational levels throughout my day. Um, I did film a summer morning routine, so if you haven't checked it out, I will have it linked down below or in one of these cards up above. Um, and you can check out my morning routine, but honestly, create a morning routine, stick to it, you'll see what I mean. Life changing, I know. Number five is to put down your phone. So many of us are on our phones all day, like you don't even notice how much you're on your phone. Like honestly, go to your uh, go to your settings, look up your screen time, and I it'll amaze you because it amazes me how much screen time I use, and I really think that that is a very handy feature in the settings of our phones now. We can see how much time we use and how much time we use on which apps on our phone throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, whatever it may be, and you can kind of track that, but I would recommend to just put your phone down. Just try to live in the present moment. Try to enjoy the people around you, even if you're by yourself, like just try to do something productive like don't scroll on instagram as much like honestly it's a lot healthier for the mind it's healthier for everything energy levels like just put down your phone more and focus on the present moment because the moments in front of you that you're choosing to be on your phone for you will never get to live again so put down your phone number six the Number six and the last tip that I have for you is exercise. Our bodies need exercise. It's so, so important and it'll affect your mood as well um, because the endorphins, you get all these endorphins and exercising just makes me feel so good. If I'm not having a good day or I just feel kind of blah, I will work out and after I will feel amazing amazing if I don't feel like doing my workout I mean obviously you don't have to push yourself through every time listen to your body but if I don't feel like doing my workout and I push myself to do it anyways afterwards I am literally so so thankful that I did because it just makes me feel so much better so just exercise move your body this can be whatever you want whatever feels good to you and just exercise so these are I need a sip of water so these are the healthy lifestyle habits that I have formed over the past two years that have helped me and I'm pretty sure a lot of people do these already maybe not but I just wanted to share my insights with you and give you my advice and tips um, I will be having more videos related to like talking about fitness and my journey coming up on my channel. I have a lot of new video ideas coming for the next little whiles, whiles, while. Um, I do upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So uh, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Don't miss any uploads from me. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.